The moon is a pretty cool thing that's often taken for granted and overlooked and ignored completely until one night there's a great big full moon in a clear cloudless sky and you stand back in awe and say that's just fantastic and then you sit down and write some poetry about it. There are a couple of things though about the moon that I find quite intriguing and quite mysterious and I can't explain them. One thing is the moon appears to be exactly the same size as the sun, which obviously it's not. The sun is actually 400 times the diameter of the moon, so the moon is really, really tiny in comparison. But the sun is 400 times as far away as the moon is. So from the surface of the earth, which is where I spend most of my time, the moon and the sun appear to be exactly the same size. And I mean exactly the same size. It doesn't have to be that way. There isn't some kind of scientific formula that says that the size and distance ratio has to be maintained. The moon can be any size. It could be half as big and twice as far away. It would still be the moon. The thing is, it's just exactly at the right distance to appear to be exactly the same size as the sun. It defies logic. It's an enormous coincidence. Or somebody's designed it that way and put it there for some reason. Mm. I'm not going to make any suggestions about who that might have been or why, because I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. It's weird. The other weird thing is that we only ever see the moon from one side. It only ever shows us one face. The far side of the moon is always the far side. It never turns round to show us what's on the other side. Technically speaking, the moon rotates on its axis once every 28 days. And it orbits around the Earth once every 28 days. And those two things combined means that we only ever see the same side of the moon. There isn't any scientific reason why it has to be like that. There's no reason why it can't be spinning around like a top. But it's not. We only ever get to see one side of the moon. As you can see, it jiggles around a bit. It does a little bit of a dance. But it's still the same face. It's still the same side. It just rotates a little bit as it goes through its cycles. It's almost as though somebody designed it that way and put it there for some reason. The moon moves in a mysterious way, even if it does always show the same side to us. You can see there's a little bit of a rhythm to its movement. And obviously the phases of the moon follow a cycle of waxing and waning that's constant and steady. If I was a code breaker, I might have a look at it and think, is the changing light and the movement of the moon combined sending us some kind of message? Could it be that somebody's put it there for some reason with the idea that one day we'll decode the message and we'll be clever enough to understand it and act on it. Just a thought. Have you been thinking about lunacy? Be honest. The word lunacy comes from the concept that a full moon causes people to behave in weird ways. If you talk to policemen or emergency service workers or People who work in the accident and emergency wards of hospitals, they will tell you that they have a higher workload around a full moon. There is a theory that the moon has a tidal pull on our blood systems, like it does on the water in the oceans. So that when there's a full moon, we get a rush of blood to the head and we behave strangely. But that doesn't actually make sense because actually that would happen to us twice a day coinciding with the ebb and flow of the tides in the sea. So that doesn't make sense. I do believe, though, 
that the moon has a less direct effect on our behaviour. A full moon on a clear cloudless night provides an enormous amount of light and affords us the opportunity to go out and do things that we might not normally do at night time. And it gives us the opportunity to go out and see other people doing things which we might not necessarily expect to see in the middle of the night. On the basis of that, I think we hear lots of stories about people doing weird things on a full moon. I think that's where that tradition comes from. I don't think the moon gets the amount of respect it deserves. I think the next time there's a full moon you should go out and dance on your lawn. You should gaze up at it and wonder. Think about who put it there and why and what it means. Try and figure out what it's trying to say to you. And then go inside and write some songs or some poetry. I might do that. Or I might just watch some other lunatic doing that. <laughs>